Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you guys struggle with lettering on rocks? Well, I have a, a fix for you. Thank you to Marianne Williams from Rocktastic Arts on Etsy and on Facebook. She uh, has printed off some awesome vinyls and sent them to me. And I am going to create a tutorial for those of you who struggle with lettering on rocks. Any kinds of lettering that used to stress me out, I tell ya. I could do a dog portrait, no problem, and then they would be like, oh, can you put the name on it for me? And that's when I would screw the whole thing up. Um, so I'm going to show you an easy way to put some words on rocks and you don't have to worry about all the lettering at all. So this might be very helpful for those of you who struggle like I did for a long time. <laughs> so I have primed my uh, rock with white paint, let it dry, and now I'm using sponges, sponge daubers from Martha Stewart will be listed in the description. I'm also going to add at the end of this video um, a little blurb about where the description is just in case you can't find it. That's where all my tips and tricks are located. So I'm just going to do like a random design on the background. I do um, my phone grips like this a lot. I really love this design. Um, it's just kind of mixing and matching some of my favorite colors together, adding a little bit of rose gold, a little bit of shimmer, and then resin, of course. But this time, we're going to attach a word, and it's going to be very, very easy. Now, uh, Marianne Williams does have a Etsy shop. Um... And that's where my shop is located, too. So I think it's great that we get to support each other and um, and come up with some great ideas to help you guys make your lives a little bit easier. So I am sponging on a perfect purple right now. I did use teal at first. I'm going to be using uh, a little bit of green and a little bit of magenta as well. You can choose your favorite colors. I just like to sponge them on in little sections, nothing, nothing, um, it's really spontaneous where you put your colors, so you decide, it just kind of looks, um, uh, I don't know, like a blended rainbow <laughs> of your favorite colors. Um, if you struggle with uh, blending, this will be something that you can work on. Uh, make sure you use a different sponge for every color, you don't want to use your blue sponge with your green. Um, you don't want to use your pink sponge for your purple. Use a different sponge or rinse them out um, between uses. Also, if you're not using them, don't let the paint dry on them. Make sure you throw them in a cup of warm water while you're using them. Um, that way the paint doesn't dry on them and they will last you for a long time. Um, that's all I do is I throw them into a cup of warm water and then when I'm done, I go rinse them out. Maybe sometimes I use a little bit of uh, dish soap, uh, like Dawn or, or whatever, something very mild, and uh, it cleans them, cleans them right up. So, But the biggest trick is don't use the same sponge with every color and don't let them dry out. Don't let them dry with paint on them because that ruins them. And it's very sad when that happens. So now I'm throwing on some magenta. I did do some nice bright citrusy looking green. And all my paint colors are going to be listed in the description as usual. Um, everything that I'm using, the sponge daubers, the uh, shell powder, everything is going to be listed in the description. So uh, now these little vinyl words, you can go to her Etsy shop and you can get her uh, to send you some of these words. She has a whole bunch of different kinds. Take a look at them. Um, basically, she sent me a bunch, like really good ones for right now for our frontline workers um, because not all heroes wear capes, you know, little things like that. Um, they're really, really awesome. Some of them say believe or relax or hope or laugh. Um, they're really, really beautiful and they're very, very easy to apply. Basically, you have to paint your rock first. I've noticed when I use my vinyls from my Cricut machine um, that they don't stick to plain old rock so easily. So you do have to paint your rock prior to um, sticking the vinyl on. And she sends you with uh, clear tape provided with the decal. And you basically put the clear tape on top of the decal or the word that 
that you've picked out and you scrape it down with a credit card or a debit card, some kind of surface, like a ruler even. I, I use a ruler sometimes with my vinyls. Um, and yeah, you press it down onto the tape and then you can apply it. I will show you that shortly, but it's very, very cool. So now that I've got my colors, my colors are dry, I'm adding a little bit of shell powder. So I'm putting a little bit of blue on the blue, purple on the purple, pink on the pink, green on the green. Because my shell powder comes with like five or seven different jars of color. And each one is being utilized all the time. You guys have seen it through my videos. <laughs> I use it all the time, but it really does... Um, spice up your artwork quite a lot. So I will leave in the description the shell powder that I am applying right now and that's the same stuff that I use but it's here in Canada so keep that in mind. You will have to search for it on Amazon or, or what have you in your area and see if you can find it. But you can use like eyeshadow and anything that's sparkly um, but I'm going to be using triple thick from Deco Art to kind of hold the glitter in place before I seal it with resin. So uh, you'll be seeing me get that triple thick stuff out again. Every time I use glitter, I'm usually using something to hold it in place, either Mod Podge or triple thick. So whatever's handy, that's what I use. So you can see each one has a different type of glitter on it. And it might not show up very well right now, but I'm telling you it's very noticeable when you seal it with resin. So today, instead of using the regular gold that I usually use, I'm going to be using spun gold, or not spun gold, uh, rose gold. So it has like a different shine to it compared to my my other gold that I normally use. So it's it's kind of really what I like to do with this thing. I do it with my foam grips as well. So. Uh, but first, we're going to use some triple thick. We're going to keep all that awesome glitter in place so that the pink glitter doesn't travel over to the purple glitter and the purple glitter doesn't travel over to the green. Um, I want to keep that glitter in place. So I'm just going to put on a nice thin layer of the triple thick glaze. You can use Mod Podge like I said. And I'm just putting a little layer of it, not too thick, and make sure you let it dry really, really well um, before you seal it with resin or, or whatever you choose to seal it with. I will be sealing this with resin. I'm also going to add a couple of crystals a little bit later, but you'll see the magic that happens in front of your eyes um, as we go. <laughs> so I do have my little rose gold uh, cap sitting there so you'll be able to see it's it's a different shine I don't know it's it's a little more metallic um, I really love it I love it for certain projects and this is definitely one of them um, when I don't really know what to do with with a phone grip when I'm creating uh, I get out the rose gold and the ideas just flow <laughs> So I am using my fine lining brush and I'm just doing like a, a wiggly kind of following along the color, kind of splitting up the color between the pink and the purple and the, the green and the pink and, and just kind of separating all the colors. Um, you've probably, if you've been to my Etsy shop, you've seen this design on some of my phone grips. I'm hoping that I can open my Etsy shop very, very soon. Um, I've got a little bit of stuff stocked up, but uh, it really depends. Like, I mean, some people aren't getting their orders for four weeks, and that's terrifying. Like, I'm starting to feel like I have to recreate something that uh, hasn't arrived. Like, I'm going to have to start repainting something and sending it out for free, and then they message me and say that it finally got there. So the mail is super behind right now, which is completely understandable. But it's hard for me to open my shop when I have my kids at home with me and um, and the mail is, is super uh, unpredictable right now. And yeah, it's a little scary for me. So I'm kind of just working on tutorials for you guys right now. But hopefully, hopefully very soon, my Etsy shop will be open and I will make a huge announcement because this has been so sad for me. Um, not being able to share all these beautiful things with all of you, um, through Etsy and, and it's, it's dragging me down guys. It's dragging me down, but 
that's okay because Mary, Mary Ann Williams sent me the perfect word to make me feel happy again. So out of all the words she sent me, this is the one I picked because that is what I try to do for you guys every time I put out a video. So the word comes cut perfectly like this. It comes with a piece of tape which you stick on top of it and then you use a ruler, see, ruler or a credit card that you know you don't want to snap in half. Uh, you want to be careful with those. Uh, but definitely you just kind of iron it out with that and then it goes right on to that tape like that and it is permanent vinyl too so this is going to stick permanently you find eye it up you put it on there get it nice you bring your ruler back out again you iron it out make sure that all the bubbles are out make sure all those black letters are stuck to the the rock and then bam shalam uh oh my dot that's okay i'm going to use tweezers and I'm going to place the dot there on my own. No biggie. <laughs> that is awesome. The vinyl is very shiny, so it's hard for you to see. I'm just kind of making sure that it's all flattened out using like the, the paper backing that it came with. Look at that. That's awesome. Now, I was a bit worried when I was using vinyl for my stones um, a little while ago when I was experimenting, um, probably back in October or November. Um, I was worried that the resin would lift the vinyl, but it really doesn't. It holds it in place. It looks gorgeous. And that word right there for some people is so hard just to do that word. So that made life so much easier. It's not going anywhere. It's going to stay there. So now I'm just going to decorate my little Inspire Stone. I'm very happy with it so far. Um, with some flowers, I'm just going to do a little bit of... Um, just a silhouette, just black. I'm not going to do any color, just black. And I'm just going to do a couple of flowers, a couple of leaves. Um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better soon. And then after I resin it, as usual, I wait about eight hours and I'm going to add some crystals in the flowers. Just really simple, two little crystals. And um, it makes this a really special gift for someone to find. Um or to be given if, if you just want to put a smile on somebody's face like this is just beautiful um, I can't wait to show it to you resin as well because all that glitter and the, the lettering it just stands out so much more when it's all got a nice glossy coat of resin on it um, right now it kind of looks like it's too shiny in some spots and not shiny enough in the other um, but it's gonna look so beautiful very very soon it's going to just be magical uh, i wish you guys could see it in person honestly so i'm just going simple two flowers with four petals uh, a couple of leaves one half of the leaves have little pinstripes on them you guys do what you want it's really, uh, you can do like a silhouette of a hummingbird or a silhouette of a dragonfly. You don't have to do anything. If you just want to doodle all over it or do like a black mandala or, um, oh my goodness, there's so many things you could do. Uh, it's totally up to you. But the words are endless, I'm sure. I'm sure if you uh, visit Rocktastic Arts, um, she would be happy to to help you with the kind of wording that you want. Um, these are great. They're very, very easy to use um, and they seal really well with resin. I haven't used any other seal. I'm a resin gal, <laughs> obsessed with resin and I love everything about it. So uh, only art resin though, because it is non-toxic and it's food safe. You can literally eat off of it and your kids can uh, make awesome little things with molds out of art resin and it's it's non-toxic you don't have to wear a mask um, although bubbles do end up coming out of the resin when you're stirring so it's not good to breathe those bubbles in I'm sure so wear a mask to be safe but but it's non-toxic so I always feel safe using it and it makes my rocks look fabulous 
So I'm doing uh, a couple of little like fine little strands that come out from the flowers with a little dot on the end. I did some really simple like um, ivy of some sort or, or trailing leaves that, that go up the sides there. Keeping it really simple. Just a nice black silhouette to go with the lettering. And then we will be resining. I just love it. It's cute already. Isn't it beautiful? So I am going to resin and then like I said I wait eight hours and then I'm just going to use a wax pencil. So this is it resined. Don't get too excited because you can't really see it that well right now but I will show it to you better shortly. I'm just adding with a wax pencil two little flat back crystals. I'll leave those uh, where I get those located in the description. Oh my goodness look at this sparkle. This is gorgeous. So here it is guys. All done, all dry. I've got my bare hands on it. That means it's not sticky anymore. Ready to be touched. And look at those beautiful little crystals shimmering. Isn't that gorgeous? How easy is that to get beautiful words put on rocks? Make sure you guys visit Rocktastic Arts on Etsy and uh, and and talk to Marianne there. And I hope you guys have liked this. Don't forget, my shop will open soon. I will announce. I love you guys. Take care and keep painting. Okay guys, this is how you find the description where all my tips and tricks are located. So we're going to take a look at a recent video here. It's the uh, Painted Stone Happy Hippo. And I'm just going to pause this. Pause it. Pause. 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 There we go. <laughs> now, see this little tiny down arrow? This little tiny one. That is your magic button. That, then you scroll down and everything's in there. Paint colors, my PayPal account, everything I use, the sponge daubers, my resin tutorial, my fine lining brush, everything is located right there. Um, so yeah, that little down arrow, if you're on your phone, you look for that little down arrow and that will bring you to the description as soon as you scroll down. If you are on a laptop like this, um, there we are. Hello, laptop. So I'm just going to remove this ad here. Click that out of there. That's not really good for me, but oh well. This is my sparkling butterfly tutorial. And all you do is scroll down and you can see right there it says show more. So I scrolled down a little bit, click show more, and now I can scroll down even more and see all of my secrets in there that I share with you guys. So that is how you find it. I hope this helps for those of you who have been struggling to find the description. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That should be in the lower corner um, on your, your screen there. And oh, there's my sparkling butterfly tutorial.